for the complete index to this or any other series, please go to BossIntegrations.com and click on Integration Videos. Process 2, Part 3. The first thing we're going to want to do is modify the sample data file. So load Excel and then open the contact.csv file in Boss Integrations under Drive C. You may have to change the file filter to include .csv to make sure that you see the file. Double click on it to open it. Click in the top left hand corner. It highlights the whole spreadsheet. Double click between the A and the B. And now you can see all of the data expanded. Click on the 1 that highlights the row. Right click, select copy, go down to cell A8 and hit enter. So what we're doing is putting in a record that shouldn't be in the sample data and we're going to filter it out. And we're going to filter it out using a route object. You can now save this file, click on yes, close the file, click on yes, yes again, and now you want to load your Dell Boomi Atmosphere account. Once you've loaded the account, expand the series folder, expand the processes folder, double click on email invalid phone numbers, and once the process is loaded, we're going to change the name of this process by clicking into the field, and we're going to type in process2 with a dash after it and then we can click on save. Notice over here the name does not update automatically but if you click on refresh expand the series 1 folder expand the processes folder here that you can see that it has updated. So we're actually going to use a route object but before we use the road object, we're going to create a profile. So you go up to create component, click the component that we're going to create is a profile, a data profile. We're going to select where it's going to go. It's going to go into series one. The type of profile is a flat file because our CSV file is a flat file. The profile is going to be called contact.csv flat file. We'll click on create and up comes the profile. The profile currently is empty. If you click on the record element here, we can now import an actual record layout. So we'll click on import and what we'll do is we'll browse for the field or for the file. Go to Boss Integrations, pick up the contact.csv file, click on next. And you can see here all the data has gone into one column. So let's fix that up. Let's click on finish. And now if we look at options, click on options, you can see here that the file delimiter is star delimited. We want to change that to comma delimited. And then we're going to re-import, sorry, and we're going to use the column headers. And we're going to re-import, so click on the import button. Click on browse. Pick up the contact.csv file click on next and now you can see 
information is in the right column. Click on Finish. Now if you click on Data Elements and expand the Elements folder, you can see all of the column headings. Click on Save and Close. And now if you go back to the Refresh button, expand the Series folder, now that you can actually see flat file profiles along with processes and connectors, and there is the profile. And now let's add the root object. So click on the logic bar, click and hold on the root object, drag onto the desktop, and release. It says root by here, so click on the magnifying glass. And what we're going to pick here, the type, is going to be a profile element. Okay? And it's a profile element because we're going to pick the phone field. We'll select flat file. And then because we've already created this profile, we can look for it. Go to series one. And there's contact.csv flat file. So double click on it. And the element we're going to choose click on elements is phone. I'll click on OK. And then click on OK again. OK, so we're going to root by this profile with the element being phone. Now the value we're going to filter for is phone. And what we'll do is we'll click on the add root click on new root. We're going to say equals to and we're going to type in here phone. Click on OK. Let's unhook the stop shape. Move it out of the way. Move the root object up. We'll connect that up. And we'll stretch the default downwards, stretch the equal phone upwards. Let's connect this stop shape and let's actually go down here, click and hold another stop shape, drop it on the canvas, click OK, and we'll hook up that stop shape as well. Now let's run this process in test mode. Go up to run a test and click. Select on premise one as your atom. Click on run test. Process is complete, but you can see this stop object did not turn green. Data should have flowed from the root object up to this stop object if data in the phone field equaled phone. And we know there was phone field data in the phone field. Let's click on the stop object. We can confirm that by looking at the shape source data. And you can see there's no records here. Let's click on this stop object. And you can see there are several records here. Let's look at the first one. And you can see a record did get through with the word phone. Let's click on cancel. So let's go up to the process log and see if we can figure this out. Click on View Log. 
And as we start reading down, you can see here, this is where the test is for the phone field. It's saying parameter value equals null. Okay, that means there was no data that came through. Now that seems strange because we created a flat file profile that listed the phone field and it was connected to the phone data. Let's hit cancel here. Let's, let's return to edit mode. Let's go to the root. Click on configure. So we know it must be in here somewhere. If we look at profile and elements, this looks to be correct. If we look at options, ah, here you can see use column headers and it's checked off. I'm going to uncheck that. Now checking it off helped us to actually produce these field names because it picked up these field names from the header record. But when data is actually going through the route, it's expecting now to have a header, record, and data. So let's uncheck this and now it will just look for data, not a header record. Save and close. Click on OK. Click on OK. Now let's run the test again. Click on Run a Test. Click Run Test. And now you can see all objects have turned green, including this stop object. If we click on that stop object, click on Shape Source Data, we can see two records here, and that's what we would expect. And here you can see that this record with the word phone in the phone field has been filtered out. Click on cancel. And this is the same thing. Let's click on return to edit mode. Let's click on this stop shape. And let's configure it. Click on configure. And what we're going to do is uncheck this box. Continue processing other execution paths and click on OK. What this does is it stops the execution as soon as records come into it. This means data will not go down the default path here. Let's click on run a test. Click on run test. And now let's click on this stop object. And if you look at the shape source data, you can see nothing came down this path. And nothing came down this path because all the records go up this path first and then down this path. And the process was stopped. Let's return to edit mode. Click on return to edit mode button. And let's reset this stop object. Click on configure, check the box, click on OK. Let's now save. And as you can see here, the changes have now been saved. Congratulations on completing the lesson.